all animals. Gator strolls onto South Carolina golf course. This is Fripp Island Golf and Beach Resort in South Carolina, USA. Last week, it got a surprising guest in the form of a 12-foot-long alligator Mississippi Piensis, better known as the American Alligator. He apparently goes by Big Al, so we're calling him that as well. According to a Facebook post by the Fripp Island Activity Center, Al sauntered onto the golf course last Tuesday evening. He was apparently less concerned about the nearby deer and people, and more focused on getting to another pond. This footage was shot by the island's naturalist, Jessica Miller. The resort says she was accompanied by a security team and was 30 feet away while shooting it. A closer look at the Facebook comments reveals that this isn't the first time said gator's been spotted. User Charles Heyman claims to have spotted the big feller two weeks ago on the same fairway. Al's apparently lived around the resort peacefully for years, so we reckon he's probably got one hell of a swing. The Fripp Island Activity Center says if you ever see a gator traveling out of water, stay back and let him continue his journey. Wise words indeed. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Big Al isn't the only giant gator to pop up, and he won't be the last. Making gators great again. An alligator with a strange orange complexion has become the talk of a South Carolina town, leaving residents scratching their heads wondering what happened to the reptile. Spotted in Hanahan, South Carolina, experts suspect an environmental factor, such as a pollutant or algae, gave this four and a half foot long alligator its unique orange color. But to be more accurate, the gator is not so much orange, more like a rusty clay sweet potato color. Regardless, the orangish reptile has received plenty of social media attention, with one poster on Facebook labeling the reptile a Trumpagator. <laughs> and of course, as a Trumpagator, he surely wouldn't let Nordstrom bully his own kind by selling alligator leather shoes, belts, or wallets, now would he? The Trumpagator even has its own Twitter account dedicated to the orangish reptile. All joking and expert theories aside, the people of Hanahan remain perplexed about what made the gator orange. Their confusion is best summed up by one resident, who told the local newspaper that when he saw the beast, I just thought, what the hell is that? Family finds massive gator chilling in their pool. A Florida family had an unexpected visitor drop by their pool on Memorial Day, a giant alligator. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office got a call on Monday after a family found a big old alligator chilling in their pool. A young lady cleaning the family's pool made the 911 call. Deputy Lori Clark was the first on scene and got some face time with the uninvited pool pal. The alligator was estimated to be around seven to eight feet long. Authorities then called a trapper who was able to get the gator out of the water so it could be moved to a more appropriate location. The video shows the gator thrashing around violently and performing death rolls to try to get loose from the trapper's noose. Yikes. Gator gets arrested. This is the bizarre moment when an alligator in Louisiana was handcuffed by wildlife officers last Saturday afternoon. The video begins with the suspect found wandering into the garage of a house in the city of Slidell. When responding wildlife officers arrive at the scene, one of the men lassos the gator's top jaw with rope. Then after some hardcore wrestling with the gator, the officer is able to drag the resilient reptile to the front lawn of the house. <laughs> With the gator exhausted from the struggle, the wildlife officer was able to keep the beast's jaws clamped. That allowed his colleague to sit on top of the gator's back and tape its jaws shut. The officers then moved around to the gator's hind legs and latched them together with handcuffs, bringing the reptile criminal to justice. Ooh, that's something. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Bet you didn't know gators could climb stairs. A South Carolina family got the shock of their lives in the early hours of Easter Sunday when this nine foot long alligator waddled up onto their porch. Homeowners Steve and Susie Polston heard some loud noises coming from outside and thought they were being burglarized. It never crossed their minds that an alligator would be able to climb the 15 stairs up to their back porch. Somehow the gator smashed through an aluminum screen door and then made himself at home. Steve and Susie tried to get the beast to budge, but the gator wasn't having it. So they called the Department of Natural Resources who sent out an officer. The Bolstons barricaded themselves in their home while the officer tried for the next two hours to get the alligator to move. Unfortunately, folks, this story does not have a happy ending. South Carolina law states that a trapped nuisance alligator has to be killed. And faced with the choice of waiting it out, possibly for days, the officer decided to euthanize the beast. The Polstons, bless their hearts, said they felt pretty bad that the alligator was put to sleep. They said they've installed a more secure porch door, and we'd be putting a gate on the stairs to stop any more unexpected gator guests from dropping in.